So here we go. Thank you very much for joining me here. Today is Tuesday and it is the 16th of March and I decided to bring you here. It is in the afternoon. It is about four it is about four o'clock and then that is the time when wherever I can do it I'm taking myself for a little walk. <laughs> Taking myself for a little walk, a pre-show little walk. There you are, uh, and so come and join me. So the thing is, you see, that is what happens uh, on Tuesday afternoon, whenever I can, I just pop, take a little walk here. And this is the time when usually in the morning or by the morning, I have a few ideas what I would like to talk about. And then the last few hours, some more ideas joined me. So there we are. Some ideas have joined me. So I really enjoy coming for a little walk here. <laughs> because then the ideas start come. The ideas in my mind start creating themselves. You know, it's like a conversation. You know, when you when you are planning to have a little chat and then certain certain sections or certain paragraphs of conversations start formulating themselves and the idea so that is actually the time out in nature when it is quiet and I can hear the birds so I tune into the birds so I'm using my senses what I hear and what I see uh, so I'm really grounding myself you know I'm really really taking this time while allowing that those thoughts coming to my mind and formulating themselves and not because I am thinking about them how I want one or two things to, to sound like or come forward or anything like that but then just like you know a certain bullet points and uh, look at that absolutely beautiful beautiful time there so this is what I normally do and then so far since this is the this is the tenth week we will have a show on the radio even on Psychic Radio and Moosak TV so today is the tenth occasion I think maybe there were one or two times when I could not come come outside and and use the, use the space and use the time but otherwise it's always like that So this is, today is the 10th occasion, so come and join me. I really wanted to share you, share this beautiful, beautiful environment with you. Just have a look. So I'm not going to tell you what I'm going to talk about um, tonight, but uh, a few ideas. I know they say I have a few ideas. And uh, one little secret I tell you since you are here. <laughs> Since you are here with me, I tend to time things, you know. So before the whole life thing begins on even our psychic radio and moon stack TV, 5 p.m. EST, 10 p.m. GMT. Uh, a few hours before that, when I get back from my little walk, I time a few things because I tend to speak a lot and I tend to say a lot. So I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm practicing, I'm learning. To, to summarize things and sometimes I, I think I succeed sometimes I, <laughs> I don't but then that's another little secret I do and a little secret I have look at that and then I must say you know what else is happening is that very often when I have an idea when I have the ideas or topics or themes I want to talk about and then when I when I tune into nature then sometimes they change so by the time I get home even when I think oh I've got my theme and I've got my topics and, and then everything is coming together in my mind or start coming together then about like 50% of the times so far I changed everything I changed everything a few hours just a few hours before we we go live, or even I think one or, one or two. The one 
so twice it happened that actually when I started talking then I immediately the, the energy was about something else so we just had to go along with that you know but then this is look at that This is just absolutely amazing. So here we go. So that's my invitation. Come and join me today at 5 p.m. EST, 10 p.m. GMT. Let's see if I can do this, yes. 5 p.m. EST, 10 p.m. GMT, my lovely, lovely people, lovely friend, come. And if you would like to have a reading, then send your message to even our psychic radio, psychic radio on their Facebook Facebook page. Send it, send it like a message that you would like to be on the show and you would like to have a reading. And then to be honest, I'm always saying like two readings. We, we go with two maximum of two people so we can get, give you quality of readings. Um, but then it's, uh, that's why I'm tri timing myself so it's not going to be very long at the beginning and then I can immediately go for the readings, you know, taking course and talking those two people live. So if you would like to be one of, the, one of those people, people, peoples, then come on board. Yes, Ina, you say it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful actually. This is one part. I live a few minutes from this lake and then that is such an inspiration to me and every single, every season really. And I quite like coming out here in the afternoon. So it's either early in the morning or in the in the afternoon, late afternoon or evening or, or in the evening because then the, 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 the lights are quite different. I've got trillions of photos taken from all kind of spots around the lake since the last few few years. I've been living here for four years. Um, so it's always the inspiration. And then I, I think I, I, um, there are a few recordings on my Facebook page where I, where I talk about uh, the inspiration we can have from, we can gain from nature. And then it's really re linking together with the, with the senses or how we are using our senses, you know. And then how when you are when you are taking as your as your um, you know if you choose to work with your intuition, and then how you can use your or how you can train your senses. So nature is really um, uh, uh, a, a place to do that. Uh, <laughs> little side. yeah. So if you go back go back for a, for for some of the other recordings, you can see that we talked about those. I recorded a few of those, how we use our senses. So it's your, your, what you see, what you hear, what you feel, um, and then also the, all the different uh, uh, seasons, what you smell, and, and even the touching the different types of trees and barks and all different things. Um, so that's a, like a, you know, you can, you can find any kind of place around you, whether it is um, a natural site or, or man-made site, but more more of the natural side. Yes, Lynn. Yes, Lynn. You said yes. Good morning. I don't know where you are. If it's good morning, good morning to you. It is in the afternoon for me here. <laughs> Let me know where you are from. Oh, that's lovely. You are. You guys are here. It looks uh, yes, indeed. It indeed. It looks really beautiful. I quite like being at this spot here because when when we have the sunset from here we can really see and then also the light you know you can work with the light and this is actually the the I found when I started really working with nature about six or seven years ago definitely when my focus went on to so we just have to watch we don't go very close to the water the edge of the water um, because that is when when we are really going dozy with our senses or going going dozy with our own reality so allowing our senses to or ourselves to relax and our senses to to sharpen you know so you start seeing different things what you don't see with your with your third dimensional eyes 
or you start hearing things and then some, suddenly you start hearing all the sounds it's like 300 more than 360 degrees around you you know and then different lights you notice um, so it's 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 a uh, yeah go back a, a, a few there are a few recordings it's usually when you see me the see me with the trees on the lake that is the time when I'm talking about nature and the senses and all the different things so it's quite quite cool I quite like doing that so Brenda says you are from Texas oh my goodness me ah oh, so very oh thank you very much for joining here joining me here Brenda is from Texas and it's 11.15 there. Hooray! I hope, you, I hope it is sunny and, and you find some space and you can have a spot, you know, going outside and, uh, you know, that, that is pretty, pretty cool. So, yeah. So, I tell you what, I'm going to continue with my little walk. The idea is that I come outside usually takes me if I do a fast walk it's about 35 minutes if I do a, a power walk what I call a power walk so I just go around but otherwise it could take me an hour and a half really easily um, and that's why I like coming out in the evening because the, the trees collect the energies the light and the moisture during the day and then in the evenings the, the frequency of the trees they are much more brighter you know much more alive than in the morning um, so it's quite interesting to experiments experiment with this and that's the, the the space where on the other side on the other side over there there's actually a you know what it's quite cool I did not tell you that is actually a lake an, un, an artificial lake built I think about 60 years ago there was some kind of mining or something happening here and then the shape of the lake is a heart and there is a little, little corner in the middle there you know you can all walk outside there but on the other side there is this little forest type of thing you know so that is when I go there that is when you have a sense of being in a forest otherwise we are just walking around or we can cycle around you know but then as I said it's it's uh, I always find it more much more interesting to be here when I come light is the light is so very different you know the trees breathe very differently and then in fact you know I, one day I will talk to you about the trees because how I sense trees you know that all their nature and then all the stories they say and then tell and then it just if somebody bothers reading up about them it's, it's quite fascinating you know how they communicate and how they tell you the stories so it's, it's quite fascinating now let me see Quiet time with my dogs, and it's nice here, just sitting with the back door open, very pretty here. Oh my, that must be beautiful. That must be beautiful. Yeah, Brenda, thank you very much, thank you. You see, that is actually another space, there are a lot of dogs out. The dog A lot, of, a lot of dog walkers are out here and then uh, that is the other thing you know nature the, uh, the animals and then just observing their behavior so when we that is actually a, an absolutely gorgeous time spent just watching their behavior and then seeing you know their hierarchy and then how they relate to each other and then also it looks very very simple for the people you know if you just pass by but but otherwise it is really really interesting to look look and then and just, and just watch them because they really remind us remind us of, of a lot of human behavior and a, a, a lot of human traits traits of behavior you know habits and then that's why I just really love looking at them because you see there is and then everything what they have and what they do we have in our own society but in a very very much simplified simplified version in a sense but in a sense it is very complex you know so it's, it's absolutely so here we go. <laughs> yes, love the dogs. Me, yes. There are I think like four or five different dogs, and then there are some kingfishers here as well, um, which actually happened to see once. I could not believe my eyes, but there I saw a king, kingfisher. So 
lovely, lovely was. So thank you very much for joining me on my little tour around. Uh, it's a great place of inspiration to me. Um, and then just, you know, you, you do the same, just, just uh, finding that spot of inspiration or a spot of space to, to, to be peaceful, you know. Uh, and then if you are around, come and join me a little bit later, 5 p.m. EST, 10 p.m. GMT. And that's going to be on the Psychic, uh, Ask One Radio, even on Psychic Radio and Musak TV for show number 10. So it's going to be absolutely awesome. So thank you very much for joining me and speak very, very soon. Thank you. See you guys later. Thanks. Bye. Bye. <laughs>